So I got a question today from Juan who was asking, uh, where do you recommend that one should start designing from? And I believe what Juan is referring to is uh, with responsive fluid box design in Captivate 2017, you can set up your stage to preview various different size devices, uh, including a desktop, but also various different mobile phones. And of course, you even have the custom options. Uh, my answer one is very simple. Consider who your target audience is, who your target learner is. Um, you know, if your organization is all sitting at uh, desktop computers doing all their work all day long, you don't need to design for anything other than the desktop computer. Uh, if, however, of course, uh, many users are on mobile devices, uh, let's say, for example, you've got a sales force where half of them are all using, um, in this case, I'll use an example uh, that I have. I've got a Samsung S7 here. Let's say all the sales people use a Samsung S7. Uh, what you're going to want to do is find out what the ideal browser window size is. Uh, or viewport, if you will. That's a term that's uh, come up recently. I'm using a website called HowBigIsMyBrowser.com. And if you open that particular website from your smartphone, you can see clearly here that uh, this particular uh, browser window is 360 by 560. So if I design with those, uh, those uh, resolutions and aspect ratios in mind, it should look absolutely perfect on my smartphone. So hopefully that helps you out, Juan. Thanks for watching. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at paulwilsonlearning.com, follow me on Twitter at paulwilsonld, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.